guys, welcome back to Hanging with the Kiddos Creative Creations. I'm Latoya, and in today's video, we're going to be creating custom wrappers for the mini cereal box. This is for the 0 0.95 ounce box of cereal, and we're going to be working over on Canva. I hope you all find this video helpful. If you do, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. We're going to be creating the template, we're going to print, and we're going to assemble. So make sure you watch the video to the end. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is head on over to canva.com and log into your account if you haven't already or you can create a free account. Now we can select the certificate shortcut option. We need our page size to be 11 by 8.5 or you can go here to custom size. Make sure it's in inches and type in 11 by 8.5 and select create a new design. Once your blank canvas pulls up, you want to head on over to elements, scroll down to shapes and select your square. From here, we can start creating our template. Here are the measurements to create your template. Each section, they're all the same size. Just resize each section according to these measurements. These are your size right here. In this area, in this area, it's for your front and your back size. Here, we're not gonna put anything here. This is for gluing. Alright guys, so now that we have our template created, you want to make sure you make a duplicate copy of the template. That way you don't have to recreate it and every time you need to create new labels, you have a fresh template. Now I have already uploaded my barcode, my nutrition facts label, and my logos of the cereal that I wanted to use. I found these logos over on Google. I just did a Google search and I searched for a PNG image. That way the background was already transparent. I have already uploaded all of the clip arts that I want to use in this design. I'm creating a gamer theme. Um, I have Canva Pro, so I'm able to save my clip arts in different folders. But if you don't have the Pro Edition, everything you uploaded can be found under the Uploads tab. So I'm about to quickly create a design, print, and assemble. Stay tuned. Thank you. 
right, guys, so I'm going to be printing my wrapper out on glossy photo paper, and I'll leave the link to the paper that I'm using, but regardless of what brand paper you're using, when you're printing on glossy paper, more than likely you will have to adjust your printer settings so that the ink dries completely after you print. So with my particular printer, I'm printing on my HP Envy, I have to make sure my paper type is selected to either photo paper or glossy paper and my print quality needs to be set to best. When I have my printer under these settings, I have no issues with the ink coming off of the paper. Hi guys, thanks so much for watching the video to the end. I hope you all found the video helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when I post more video tutorials. Thank you all so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.